Hello, YouTube, and welcome to a special episode of the Lincoln Williams Show. And uh, and to and today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite games and one of my favorite franchises of all time. And um, uh, I'll be talking about um, my all-time favorite assassin in the next Assassin's Creed video and today we are going to be celebrating Assassin's Creed Day on the Lincoln Williams show. So um uh, uh so um uh thank you for supporting me on YouTube and um so yeah enjoy the review and the gameplay. So um ba so basically um it all starts off with this guy called Desmond Miles and uh he used to be a bartender back in this uh, back in his day, but not anymore, because he got captured by the Templars, and he's holding, and he's hold it in, into a, a facility called the Animus Building. It's just a it's just a building with like the Animus. Um. Basically, uh, you uh, start off with the assassin, the first assassin. Which is my all-time favorite, Altair. Now, Altair is one of my favorite assassins. One of my favorites. You number, I never said he was number one, but you'll find out if he is number one in the next video. Um, now, this is Assassin's Creed 4, which I'm playing right now. Sorry I haven't started from the beginning, but... A lot of Assassin's Creed fans love this game because it's all about pirates. Yeah, pirates. They're, they're just really fun. They were just really fun to enjoy in this t in particular game. Now, did you know that this game what made me get one of the Assassin's Creed games? It made me join the fan club of the Assassin's Creed series. And first off, it started off with Brotherhood. Now, Brotherhood is one of my one of, is not one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games, but it's it was one of my first Assassin's Creed games that I ever played. Now, um, you're supposed to stop Cesaric, I never, and save Rome. I think that's what you're trying to do in this game. But there's like all these side quests that you have to do and all that stuff. Um, and this game was the first game that included online. So if you really want to get into an old experience of Assassin's Creed games, that's online. So I suggest you check this game out. It's, it's very good. I mean, all Assassin's Creed games are good. Um, now... Basically, in my opinion, this series is basically like the Matrix series. Um, because it takes place in the future and you go, go into the past. And that's the... And the future world is the real world and the past world is like history that you go into. It's very confusing, but you'll get it. You'll get the storyline once you once you play an an Assassin's Creed game. Now, um, um, I don't know how to start off. Um, oh yeah, let's start off with some gameplay. So I'll so I'll show you a little bit of the gameplay. Um, this is one of the uh, future events. Hold on. Um, this is one of the, um, futuristic, the futuristic worlds that they developed in the Animus. And here is my office. Basic. Here's, like, my trophies. Maybe this is, maybe, maybe these are sequences. I'm not sure. Um, I think these are sequences. Um... You got a couple of books, DVDs, all that stuff, calendar, 
And here's my main computer with speakers. And uh, so the Animus. What is the Animus? Well, most of you already know this, but people who haven't played Assassin's Creed before, they're going to get confused with the Animus. Now, the Animus is basically what platforms all of the assassins and the gameplay. So this is basically like a computer program. Yeah, this is... This game is basically like a computer program, what you're seeing on right now. So let's launch it and see what happens. If I can launch it. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. This is so weird. That is so weird. This has never happened to me before. It's all like a glitch. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so hilarious. So this is Havana. And Havana is one of the first cities that you encounter in the game. Um, it's very gorgeous. And uh, I'll show you a little some of the tricks up my sleeve. So we'll so we're gonna climb this, and we're going to do this. Now this is one of the fanciest tricks in Assassin's Creed. Is this? See, boom, like that. Um, I really just basically just jump down from a rooftop instead of going up, but who cares? This guy is, like, amazing. Edward Kenway is ama an amazing climber. No doubt about. He's just awesome. Um, now, this is not all Taiyu. This, uh, this, this is Edward Kenway. Um, I'm wearing Altair's robes because Altair is one of my favorite assassins of all time. Um... But maybe he's going to be number one on the list. I'm not sure yet. And uh, we'll see from there in the next episode of Assassin's Creed Day on the Lincoln Williams Show. And uh, so uh, basically this is Havana. And Havana looks very, very pretty. Um, I think it's one of the most gorgeous cities in the world of Assassin's Creed. And uh, it's... Oh. It wasn't pretty before! Because it's all stormy. And you know what's happening on stormy nights of this night. Murder. So let's let's encounter a murder. Looks like the first murder is up. And the first murder encountered. Okay. I just murdered a guard. Whoa. Who's next going to get murdered? Mwah. Okay, um, enough with that fancy talk. Let's go kill a couple of guards. You want to see me couple kill a couple of guards? Huh? All right, let's do this. Let's get our hand and blades. Traditional. Knock them out. And knock them out. That was pretty sick. Oh my gosh. I took... Four of these guards out. Now, that's one of the main tricks in Assassin's Creed. Because I have never done that before. Oops, somebody's noticed my murder encounter. Um, I just really do not like rain. It's not one of my favorite weathers. It's depressing, it's sad, and people cry when it, when it rains. Let it rain! <laughs> um... So yeah, this is um, Edward. So he's a pirate, not an assassin, basically. But he's a pirate and an assassin. I don't know how this all adds up. Um, so yeah, so the Assassin's Creed timeline. Um, number one takes place in the Crusades. N the next one takes place in, ne in Venice. And the next one takes place in Rome. And the third one, I don't know yet. Because I haven't played Revelations. And 
just give me honest opinion in the comments below that should I get Revelations or should I not get Revelations? So that's one of my, the main questions. So please, please answer. Answer on YouTube. Um, so yeah. Um, and uh, number three, I believe, is... Is American Times in Boston and New York, and number four, you already know this this place, and it takes place in the Pirate Times. So yeah, that's the Assassin's Creed timeline of history of end events. Um, so basic, so basically, um, I think this is one of my favorite series of all time of video games because. It just reminds me of the Matrix a lot, and it's very, it's very intriguing that they just put this in all of these games. It's just awesome. Um, so yeah, I give this series a eight out of ten because a lot of people put eight out of ten. I don't know why, but it, this series is great, and it it has a little bit of twists and turns along the way, and. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Lincoln Williams Show and of Assassin's Creed Day. And uh, thank you, YouTube, and I'll, and I'll be back someday, someday.